Discovery campaigns are some of the least used Google ads campaign types simply because a lot of people actually don't know how to create the correct types of discovery campaigns and how to set them up the right way so that you actually end up getting results with them instead of just wasting a lot of money mindlessly trying out random different strategies. And trust me, getting discovery campaigns right the first time is a huge thing of its own. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up discovery campaigns the right way so that you can actually find the most amount of benefits possible with these campaign types and these are really good campaign types you should be using by the way to increase the number of sales you're getting with your brand but before we actually start talking about how to set up discovery campaigns it's important to know what their benefits are and why you should even consider using them for your e-commerce brand so first things first with a single discovery campaign you have the ability to reach a wide range of audience at a very very low budget or bid through various different platforms such as youtube homepage or the watch next feeds or your gmail account itself the promotion tab of your gmail accounts or even the discover section within a lot of various websites these four things alone can attribute to about a thousand to a hundred thousand impressions or more depending on what your budget is and depending on what your bid is and as you see with the screenshot on my screen there's a wide variety of different places that discovery campaigns actually end up so it's important for you to know how to create the right kinds of discovery campaigns and for them to show up at the right places but one thing you want to understand about discovery campaigns is there is a heavy reliance on the actual images that you use for the discovery campaigns and that's simply because with these discovery campaigns the places that they appear on people within these places that are browsing whatever website or platform that the ad came up on are usually not mostly in the buying intent you have to kind of capture their attention via good images via images that actually pop out so it's important for you to kind of develop these images which i'll be going over very shortly as to what dimensions you should have etc but nonetheless discovery campaigns should be on your to-do list now it's also important for you to know exactly at what stage of your business should you be trying out this discovery campaign because not every person or not every business is ideal for a discovery campaign during a certain period of time so first things first you should not be trying out discovery campaigns if you just started with google ads if you have little to no data meaning less than 50 to 100 conversions on the actual ad account because the best way to make discovery campaigns work is mostly to use the automated bidding strategies available with google ads such as target roas target cpa maximize conversions etc simply because you don't have enough data available discovery campaigns are not really the ideal way for you to go and there are two different ways that you can use a discovery campaign effectively number one way is to directly scale your brand and show your ads to a wider range of eyeballs at a very very short budget and that too very quickly this is one of the main reasons why you should be using discovery campaigns this is not so that you get a bunch of sales with them of course sales will come gradually but the main thing that a discovery campaign is used for is within the name itself discovery it's to help people discover your brand and number two way to use a discovery campaign is to do retargeting for your brand so this means just reaching out those people which have already come onto your brand and now you can reach out to them on various different platforms this is sort of the easiest way to follow them everywhere on the internet and the more you follow them everywhere on the internet the more times they see your ads the better it is going to be for you in terms of conversion rates in terms of sales that you get from these people so it's important for you to get discovery campaigns right but let's start off by talking about exactly how to set up the discovery campaigns first things first on your google ads account as you see here on my screen you want to go and click the left plus button and then click on new campaign we will be creating a brand new discovery campaign now in this section you want to of course be choosing sales if you're running an e-commerce brand anything else go ahead and click leads in this case we're going to hit sales for the conversion goal make sure only one conversion goal comes up a lot of times if you have set it up incorrectly it's going to show a bunch of different conversion goals you don't want that you only want one conversion goal in this case purchases so make sure that's selected and then click next and now here you're going to choose a discovery which is the last option right here and as you can see it says run ads on youtube gmail discover and more this is what you will be targeting now for the website itself we're going to leave it blank for the name i like to just call it whatever i'm trying to do so if it's cold traffic i'll just write in cold if it's hot traffic i'll type in hot so in this case i'm just going to type in cold but i'll be showing you within this video how to choose those audiences if you want to do warm or hot traffic targeting so we're just going to write in cold and i like to write in the country i'm targeting so in this case usa only 
And for the next step, I like to type in the date that I'm making this campaign. So it's the 14th today when I'm recording this video. So 5, 14, 22, hit continue. And it will tell you if you already have a campaign going on or not. In this case, we're going to start brand new. And then we will be taken to this page right over here. This is where we get to choose a lot of different settings, which determine how successful your discovery campaign is going to be. So first things first, location, make sure to choose one individual location. If it's United States, choose United States. If it's any other country, choose any other country. So in this case, we're going to target United States. Scroll down, make sure English is chosen. If it's not, write it in. Bidding. Now, this is why I said you want to make sure you have some kind of data available because really what Google gives you is the ability to do only smart targeting. And that's one main reason you need to have a considerable amount of sales on the account. Otherwise, the discovery campaign is not really going to be able to shown to the right kinds of people. So in this case, it tells you right here, based on the selections, the campaign will use maximize conversions bidding strategy. So that's exactly what we want. And we don't really even have any other options to choose from anyway. So you can click on that. And for the target cost per action, I do recommend you choose preferably something like what your branded search campaign is getting you conversions on. So if your branded search campaign is getting you sales at $10 per purchase, then that is what you would want to write here. But if you don't really have a branded search campaign going on, then you want to take the account's entire average cost per conversion and put it here. So let's say your entire account is getting on average a cost per sale of $20. So you want to put in $20 here. I don't normally like to make it too high because otherwise a discovery campaign can end up getting shown to the wrong audience. And very quickly, it's going to end up spending a lot of your budget, which you don't want it to do. So keep it at the same level as your current CPAs for the account within the last 30 to 90 days. But in this case, we're going to assume it's $20. So we're just going to put that budget. You can start off small with the discovery campaign. I like to do around 10 US dollars or maybe even $20 up to 25, depending on your budgets. But once you do that, if you click more settings, you'll see other things which you can change. I don't like touching anything here. Let's just click next. And now here, if you want to do a warm traffic or a hot traffic targeting discovery campaign, this is where you choose that audience. So you just click create an audience and it will let you create a brand new audience right over here. And as you can see, this is a little bit different than what you might be used to in creating the other campaigns. So here you can actually create a new custom segment. You can choose from the segment directly. So people who search for any of these terms below. So for example, if you're trying to sell blackjack cards, you can just type in blackjack. And what will happen here is the specific keywords which people are searching for will appear here if there's any. And as you can see, none are appearing here. So we're just going to remove black. So we're just going to play around a bit to see if anything's appearing here and nothing still appears here. So what you can do is just click enter to add that keyword in and you can target any of certain segments which you would like. Or if you want to just target those people with those kinds of similar interests, so for example, if you want to sell something like a dog necklace, you can target somebody with the interest dog. And then as you can see, some stuff comes up here. You can maybe target somebody who's a husky wolf dog lover or has interest in husky wolf dog because your necklace is a husky wolf dog related necklace. So that's what you would essentially use this section here for. If we go back, you can also choose from your data. So here, shopping cart abandoners, all of those different audiences come up. You can also go to browse. You can go to website visitors and choose from any right here. You can also do interest and detailed demographics and you can take it to the next level. You can also exclude stuff. You can add your own demographics and so forth. I recommend you stick to your data section if you want to do the hot traffic and warm traffic targeting for the discovery campaign. But that's that for the audiences section. Now you can also do optimized targeting as it says right here. Optimized targeting helps you get more conversions by using information such as your landing page and assets. I don't recommend this if you have anywhere less than 100 to 500 conversions on the ad account as a whole. But Let's move on now to the actual ad creation. This is where you get to create the entire discovery campaign ad copies. And as you can see, it gives you the ability to have five different headlines, five different descriptions. You can choose between different kinds of CTAs. You can choose languages, all sorts of stuff. And also you can add different kinds of images here, which you want to do. And I recommend you add all of these recommended image sizes for discovery campaigns. In fact, if you click on learn more, it will tell you a bit more things that you can do in terms of discovery campaigns. And you'll see right here on my screen, the different kinds of images and image sizes and exactly how many you should have for the discovery search campaigns. And I recommend you try to fill up as many of these image slots as possible because it does give you the ability to have 20 different images. And remember, these discovery campaigns will be shown across different placements 
all with different sizes. As you see right here on the right side, it will show you exactly what size the actual images will come up with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really quick go ahead and create a discovery sample campaign for you with some images and show you exactly how it's done right the right way. All right, so I went ahead and created a sample discovery campaign for you guys. And this discovery campaign, we're assuming that we are a perfume brand. We sell wide ranges of perfumes. As you can see, I added a wide variety of different images. All of them will be shown right over here. As you see, it's continuously showcasing how the images will look on YouTube, different ad platforms. You can also choose where you wanna see it. So for example, on Gmail, this is exactly how it will look like and with different kinds of placements themselves. So discover, for example, this is how it would look like. And now for the headlines, this is what I wrote and this is what I recommend you do as well. So I said, shop our premium perfumes perfect for all. And now they did go over the 40 character limit for the, for the sake of this example. We're just gonna assume it's at 40. What you wanna do is you wanna have a very brief, very general kind of text inside of the headline. So you can talk about what kind of products you sell, why somebody should buy from you, what kind of premium products you have, how you stand out from the rest, etc. I do recommend you have two different headlines. For the descriptions, I do recommend you have three different descriptions. It could be something like, our exclusive perfumes were designed to add a class and style to your outfits, and I just say stand out, be bold, be stylish. Over 49,301 happy customers, USA made, free shipping over $50. Very straightforward, nothing too crazy, just talking about my brand as a whole, instead of just nitpicking one random product from my website. So this is essentially how discovery campaigns should be laid out. You wanna be very general with them because they're gonna be showed in a wide range of placements and your images should do the talking mostly. Now, these images, they're not really very high quality. As you can see, there's too much stuff going on with them. But what you wanna do is you wanna have an image which is very straightforward, is exactly showing what you sell or has some kind of arrow or something to kind of pop out and capture somebody's attention. So if I'm in my Gmail account, if I'm on YouTube scrolling through, the image should be able to capture my attention. Otherwise, you can have very low CTRs. But in general, discovery campaigns do have low CTRs. Once you do that, you wanna scroll down to business name, write your business name, call to action. You can do shop now directly. I don't like to leave it on automated. Otherwise, it might accidentally do something else. So I wanna prevent that from happening. So we do shop now and click next. And basically, it'll let you review. And then once everything is done, then you can hit submit and that's basically it to creating the discovery campaigns. These are the exact steps I take every time to create these discovery campaigns, both for my brands as well as clients' accounts under my agency, Yoru Marketing, which if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales and you need help scaling your brand further to the next level, go on to my website and book a free call with me to see how I can help you take your brand to the next level with Google Ads. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.